Hello friends, thank you for joining us in our continuing series of stories from the field. When I was in seminary, I had the opportunity and privilege to intern at a little church in Holland, Michigan. And we attracted kids from all over the neighborhood. And there was one particular kid, a kid from Mexico, who particularly drew my attention, mostly because I was from another country, he was from another country, and we just bonded. His name was Jaime. And he just simply said his parents were missionaries in Mexico and they were just visiting. And Jaime would come you know, off and on over the next three years. And it was only later on I realized that Jaime was the son of Jaime and Martha Amaro, RCA missionaries to Mexico. And their ministry is epitomized by Jaime's life because Jaime going to church when he was a little, little kid was what drew them to the church and what kept them in the church. Today, in Mexico, there is a lack of trained leadership to guide young children into a strong relationship with God. Martha and Jaime Amaro, Sr., partner with the National Presbyterian Church in Mexico to train leaders in seminaries and presbyteries across Mexico. They teach the skills that leaders need to put thriving children and worship programming in place in these congregations. I hope you'll be blessed by what they have to say. God bless you all. Greetings from Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, I am Marta Maro, along with my husband, Halime. We have been teaching churches and seminaries across the country through Christian education trainings for the last 19 years. We write and adapt Sunday school materials, taking into consideration that in Mexico, there is still a large indigenous population. Our focus is on children, a much neglected area within the national church to BBS, we reach them. We nurture them with children and worship materials and educate them with doctrine. These are all centered on certain times. The global pandemic caused by COVID-19 has been transforming the lives of millions of people in a terrible way for the last months. The changes have been taking place so quickly that most of the world's population have been caught off guard. We are all trying to adapt to this new reality in the hope that the pandemic will end soon. Also, it is impossible to predict how long it will last and what consequences it will have for all. Mexico is not different from the rest of the world. Unemployment, hunger, and sadness is all around us. But we see this trial as an opportunity to share, comfort, and love our neighbor more than ever sharing who Christ is and how much he loves them. In these days of crisis and home confinement, we have been worker, working harder than ever, equipping city churches with materials that can be used at home for children, and also sharing the children and worship stories in social networks. That is the beautiful and the positive part of this time. However, the vast majority of the children we serve in the communities do not have a computer, cell phone, or the internet. We have been forced to send our students from the educational center in Oaxaca City back home. The state government demanded. They have returned to their parents. We know for sure many of them are going to be exposed to violence again, to hunger and sadness. We know that our kids now have confidence in Christ, but not all the parents yet. Now more than ever, we need to remember God's promises for us and just be still and know that He is God. Regarding our church planting, we just pray that the people has act, He will keep them inside His ship until all this is over. We try to deliver groceries every, every week. At least we want to be sure they are fed. Our hearts are sad, but we trust that God cares for each one of his kids, even if they go through the valley of the shadow of death. It has been two months now since we closed the center. Only three teenagers remain there because they have the legal edge to decide to do so. Psalm 91 has been our comfort. 
The psalmist in verse 4 says that God will protect people under his wings. God himself, when he inspired this psalm, wanted to demonstrate all the love, tenderness, and protection that those who trust him, in the same measure, God reveals his strength. He is a shield that protects us. We have been seeing pockets of grace in the midst of this quarantine every day. We have brought our needs in prayer, and he has responded. We just want to thank people for giving Tuesday. God has used each of you to respond to the need of our local students and parents. To close, I just want to encourage all with these words. The true Christian virtues are faith, love, and hope. Our faith in Christ sustains us. Our love for God and for others defines us. And our hope encourages us to move forward in the midst of difficulties. Dios les bendiga. God bless you.